Welcome star seeds and light workers. Ava here. And today we have a great question around the topic of sacred geometry and specifically the flower of life. And for those of you who aren't familiar with that shape, I'll see if we can put it up or put it in the comments or link it. Um, but it's like the, in actually I have it on my, it's right behind me. Yeah. It's on the other side of the wall. But anyway, it's, it's a similar shape to that. You can kind of see it. It's this one right here. <laughs> Uh, but it's the interconnecting circles. And um, so I'm just curious to see what Daina has to say about that. Those of you who are new here, welcome. This is a channel where we connect with uh, the ancient wisdom keepers, specifically in this case, Daina, who is of the Pleiadian family. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and go out and put you in touch with the Pleiadians. And we'll see what she has to say on the flower of life. This is Daina, the Pleiadian family, and we are here. And um, what do we love to say? To bring the love. To bring the love. Mm. And this is a beautiful question, you see, because it is so mm, multi-layered and multi-dimensional, as you, as you mm, can intuit, you see. Because mm, those of you who are tuned in to the, the frequency of the light and the love, you see, there is this mm, kind of curiosity, even if you have not heard of the sacred geometry before, or you are new, or you are mm, maybe head on, full on in the deep, in the deep dive, in the mm, deep end of the, the swimming pool, you see. Wherever you are on the spectrum, you see, there is an internal pull of knowing that begins to unfold as you, um, as you begin to become more and more curious, you see. Because um, the sacred geometry in, in particular, no matter what the particular shape, is the essence of creation, which we have mentioned here before, and it is how you create it is a secret code for what you do when you are using the power of manifestation and creation to bring forward into creation, into your world, what it is you desire to see in your life, you see. So this is not, not new. This is ancient technology that has been used for um, since the beginning of time, you see, to, um, to manifest in certain form, you see, because it is particular frequencies that bring in form into a more, more concentrated version, you see, because it, is, um, it goes through all these little filters in two multi-dimensions, and then the, the lower the dimension, it, it becomes more and more like concrete or, di or dense, you would say. So in the higher dimensions... These are the blueprints, you see, of frequency. And when you are looking specifically at the flower of life, since this was the specific question, this is a one that is familiar to many of you, you see. And so the flower of life, you see, it's the circle. You see, it is an unbroken, there is no, it's not linear, you see. So it is unbroken timelessness beyond the concepts of time. You see, so it is a, a blueprint for um, when you are time traveling, for example, you are using the flower of life in a certain way because you are using the, the concentric um, the concentric frequencies of overlapping dimensions. And this is a secret, you see, because when you are using the, the overlap within the dimensions, that's where the portals are, you see. So this is how you can jump from portal to portal to time to time to see and to experience different aspects of now. You see, this is what is the funny part for, for the Pleiadians, you see, is you have this idea that mm, we're going to jump into a portal and go back in time to, to mm, this particular time in history, for example. But this is really just another expression of the now, because that is all that truly exists, because the time in your world is um, linear, you see. And so this is so beautiful, because it brings you into a more, mm, we don't say accurate necessarily, because all per perceptions are valid within their, pers within their perception, within their perspective, you see. So linear time is valid and in, it, in the 3D perspective, you see. So in this way, you are connecting into the higher dimensions, which is allowing you a blueprint for upgrading in all of your technologies within your form to upgrade into these higher frequencies in a much more easy way, you see, very simple way. So you just become more, more, more familiar with these frequencies, you see. And so you can do this by simply meditating on the forms, you see, looking at the forms and becoming more familiar with them, you see. And then there are techniques you can use as you get more advanced for how to actually use those in, with a, in a responsible way, you see, with, with, with intent that is productive, important, and in service, you see, and in love, you see. This is not just to play, 
necessarily. You see, it is for a purpose. So when you are, are being like, oh, this sounds like fun. It is not just too good to go play around. Or some, some souls do that, you see, just to play. But we like to see it more as really holding with the intentionality of the heart to, to do things like this in the essence of love, you see, to expand the consciousness and to expand the love, you see. So if it is in that, that vein of, of truth, we say, mm, yes, you learn the technologies then, you see. But the essence of the flower of life is that it is the overlapping concentric circles that begin to mm, tap you into the timelessness of creation, you see. And so it is the blueprint in that particular way. There are many, many more pieces of what it represents, but this is a good good starting point, you see, because it is one of the most mm, powerful ways that you can use this particular form, you see. And every form has its particularity. Every form, every sacred shape, you see. He's like you see behind this one, you see behind on the walls, you see. These are all particular mm, shapes and frequencies that allow for transformation in certain ways. And mm, particular, mm, what you would say, whether it is the time travel or it is for mm, healing, you see, for example. These have different, different purposes, you see. Isn't that fascinating? This is fascinating. We, we, we know this is fascinating because, mm, because you're still listening. See, we like to joke too, you see. We love to, light, to love to lighten it up and make you laugh, you see. And so mm, we are very excited for what is coming in your world, you see, for what is coming. And it is related to more and more of you tuning into these sacred forms and being more familiar with how to use them to your advantage, you see. So mm, you are creators, you are master creators, of your, of your reality and you are just waking up to it. So everybody's like, mm, all the abundance and all of the manifestation and mm, create your reality and mm, mm, all of these key, these hot topics, you see, that are floating around in your circles, you see, how to manifest and create. You've always, always known how to do this. You see, it is part of you. So this is just a reawakening to see simple, simple truths, you see, that you are always here to do. And we like to just give you a little push, see, just try it out and see what happens when you just choose to remember. Because it is not like you're here to learn new things necessarily. You're here to just remember what you already are and know. So think about that for a minute and, and hold that. What if you were to just simply believe that you are already the master creator who is all-knowing, you see? And from that point, what do you create? What do you choose? What do you bring in? Who do you help? How do you spread the love? These are the questions, you see. So we leave you with this. We love you all dearly. And we send you the most blessings, you see, from the Pleiadian family who loves you all dearly. We're holding you all as a collective. And we love you all so, so very much. Blessings to you all. And we see you very soon. <clears throat> Ah, I trust that this message was exactly what you needed to hear today. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if that feels right for you. I'm so blessed to have all of you here in this community. I can't wait to see this grow even more. And we can't wait to see you next time. Blessings.